it's Daniel from Dashclicks. In this video, we're gonna go over Google's disavow tool and what to do before you start. So just give a quick context. Um, basically disavowing essentially is just you trying to unlink your website from another website. So if your link, uh, you know, yourlink.com is listed on some other website and there's seemingly no way to remove it and you wanna unlink it for reasons I'll go over in just a second, this is how you do it. You use Google's disavow tool. But before you do that, I wanna go over some things that you need to think about, okay? So if we know that it's to remove a, what we call toxic link from your website, which essentially means that the link does not help your website with SEO, it actually harms it, then you wanna make sure before you start removing stuff, because it could harm you if you don't know what you're doing. First thing I'd recommend is um, detect toxic links by using Neil Patel's backlink tool, okay? It's a backlink checker, type of Neil Patel, uh, Neil Patel backlink tool, it'll come up, you enter your website and it should show you what links are good and what are bad. So at least you have a place to start. So let's go into like what you're looking for. Number one, ask your question, ask yourself this question, is the link coming from a page that is blacklisted or banned, okay? Number two, is the link that you want are considering disavowing, is the link coming from a dangerous page? Number three, is the link coming from a page of a weak domain? Number four, is the link coming from a domain that is penalized? Okay, if there's any things that indicate these factors, you definitely wanna start the disavow process from that page. So finding toxic links and actually being able to identify them and, and with proof, identify that in fact they are toxic and not helping our site, then you wanna start that process. There's a ton of different disavow apps that you can use and go through, especially with Google or Neil Patel. He has a bunch of cool apps. So in conclusion, before you start disavowing all these links to your site that your site's connected to, make sure you use these tools to kind of verify that in fact it is a toxic link. Go through that checklist um, because you don't wanna start removing links that are actually helping your SEO because backlinks and linking can be very powerful if done correctly. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.